If you're a real estate agent, don't, don't, don't waste, waste your time, time on, on Canva. Can, 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 can. Unless you watch my videos. You know I had to put the plug in because I said what I said and I stand by what I say because in this video, I'm going to show you how to make a gorgeous YouTube thumbnail for property tours with, of course, Canva in minutes. So if you're ready, let's get it. Hi friends, it's Larissa aka Lad to the R E double -S, S say welcome back or welcome to the channel if you are new here. This is a place on the internet where I help fellow real estate brothers and sisters like yourself keep it real estate, but more importantly, I show you how to create effective content for your business. And if you are looking to level up your real estate game, then lucky for you because I am on the search for real estate business partners to collaborate with. So if you're interested in working with moi, then scan this code right over here because shameless plug, my superpower is helping my real estate business partners here at eXp Realty with Canva because one, you get my entire Canva library for free, everything that you see on my Etsy shop and then some, and two, you have me on speed dial. And three, you are partnering with one of the fastest growing brokerages on the planet, aka EXP Realty, that actually incentivizes the agent to build a sustainable business and incentivizes them to build and create wealth. Because listen, if that ain't it, I don't know what is. So I said what I had to say. Now let's kick it to Canva. All right, here we are at the Canva home page very simply you can search in here for youtube thumbnail but mine is right here so i'm just going to go ahead and click on that now with the youtube thumbnail you do have specific dimensions which are important now of course you can go ahead and use a template on the side because canva has many but in this case today we are creating a property tour thumbnail and it's going to be gorgeous now disclaimer you will need Canva Pro for this, so be sure to scan this code here if you do not have Canva Pro just yet, but we would like to try it out because after this video, trust me, you will. Now in this case, go ahead and just upload a property photo. So in this case, I'm going to upload a file here. I'm gonna go, I have this photo in my thumbnail. I'm gonna, actually, I'm gonna take both of these photos, so myself and this property photo. All right. Once that is uploaded into here, you just simply click on the image and it will plop right onto your page. I'm going to right click and I'm going to just, mm, not yet. Ooh, my thumb. Not yet. We're going to keep it like this for now. Mm, no, we're going to just make it big like this. I'm just going to click and drag the corner and I'm just going to do that. And now my face is in the way, but I'm just going to make it extend the page here. And then this is why you will need Canva Pro, okay? We're gonna make sure that image is selected. We're gonna go up here to edit photo and we are gonna be in the new editing window. And here you will see Magic Grab, which is a new Canva AI feature that is brought to the Magic Studio here. And just give it a second. You're like, probably like, what is this gonna do, Larissa? But trust me, you see that? It looked like it did nothing, but watch this, watch this. It has separated the foreground from the background. So it has took the subject of the photo, in this case, the home and separated it. Why is this significant? Because now we're able to have two different layers. So we go up to here, positions and go into layers. You'll see that we have the home as one layer and then the background as another layer. This will enable us to actually put text behind the home, which I think is just chef's kiss. Okay. So I seen other Real estate agents just put, you know, the price of the home just directly on top. But I mean, we don't do that here. We're going to make it beautiful, gorgeous, excellent, amazing. So go ahead into the text here. Go ahead and just grab a piece of text. In this case, let's just kind of eyeball this. I'm going to say this house is 1.7 million. Ooh. And then we are going to extend this. Of course, we're going to make this another color. Don't worry. Don't worry. I'm going to select that. We're going to make this white. And then we are going to go and find some kind of very big, bold font. So you can search here. You can kind of like scroll through here or just hit something like bold. And then you can scroll through and find a text that you like. But in this case, I used mine earlier. So it's this Bernardo, Bernardo text. I don't know. So I'm going to make sure that we 
expand this text so it fills up the entirety of the page. Now again, as mentioned, some real estate agents, they literally just put the text on top of the photo just like that, but I'm, we're not here for that. We're gonna stylize this. So again, make sure you are selected on here. Go up to effects, and personally, I like to go into the shadows here, and I'm going to change the shadow to a black color. Click on that, the color wheel, and just click and drag. Click on here, click on here, and then we are going to just blur this a little bit, put the transparency all the way up to 100, and you're gonna have something kind of like this. So now you have a bit more contrast and dimension to that text. Now at this point, all we gotta do is just go to positions again, and we can just simply click and drag the text and put it in between, sandwich it like that, and it'll look like that. So you have pretty much the thumbnail is done. There you go. Give this video a thumbs up. <laughs> There's your thumbnail, but it doesn't end here. If you want to stylize it even more, we can go another step further, okay? So I'm going to duplicate this page and I'm actually going to click on the text once more. And instead of having white, we can actually change this to a much more brighter color. So a contrast. In this case, I love to use a yellow. Now, sometimes you might have to search for a specific yellow color. So I'm going to go like neon yellow and then we can choose colors from here so maybe this yellow looks good so this to me this is like a highlighter yellow and as you can see it already stands out more than this one so you have the white versus the yellow now if you want to you can also kind of give this text a little bit of a curve so we go back into effects here we can scroll down and you'll see the shape here and we can hit curve and we can slightly that's a very extreme curve but slightly if you go over here just do it like that so it looks nice like that and then maybe just bring this up just a little bit just like that so again if we were to just zoom out you can see that even if we make it really small you still can see that price of the home and the number and obviously that yellow stands out so much more to me than just the white so again you can keep it at that or we can go another step more. In this case, if you wanna have the brand recognition, you know what I mean? It's your face. So we can go ahead and go back into our uploads and remember how we had uploaded this photo, I did. In this case, I am just going to extend this a little bit here. And what we are going to do is remove the background. So again, select that photo, go up to edit photo. In this case, we are just going to hit the BG remover background remover. Again, this is a Canva pro feature. Give it a second. And there you go. Boom. She done. Now let's scroll out just a little bit. Oh my goodness. <laughs> and then at this point, what I would also like to do is go make sure you're still selected on the image. Hit the shadows here. And I'm going to go for the outline. In this case, I am going to select that color. And I actually want it to be the same color as this yellow. So we will actually have to go and click on the text here. Don't worry. We'll come back to this. Click on the text. Go to text color. And I need to make sure that we select this hex code. Okay. Click on that. Go back to your image. Edit image. Go back to here. Hit those three sliders. Then hit that color. And then we're just gonna paste that in. And now we have the same yellow color with our outline. Now, typically I like to just make the outline a little bit smaller and give it a bit of a blur. In this case, you can put yourself here like that. Or if we wanted to flip this, I'm gonna, oops, copy this image here. Oh, there she is. I'm gonna actually flip myself. And then I'm going to hit the shift key and then drag so it stays in that line. So you can have it like that. So you have yourself either. Nope. Let's do that again. Click and drag like that. So you have yourself here on the left side or here on the right side, depending on what you want. And again, if we were to zoom out, you can see that you have nice good brand recognition now one thing that we can do if you don't want to put your face on there is to do something a little quirky something a little bit more fun so i'm going to duplicate this here so on this page let's go ahead and grab an arrow just look up arrow 
and I'm just gonna hit see all actually I lied hit arrow we're gonna go to graphics over here graphics over here so we were in shapes go into graphics now I typically like this this one here and the nice thing about this arrow is you can actually change the color so I'm gonna hit the color tab and I'm gonna actually make this red and then I'm going to flip that bad boy I lied we're just gonna rotate it <laughs> like this rotate it like that so I'm trying to indicate something here where I'm pointing to the back of the home in this case we can do something a little bit quirky a little bit fun so we're gonna go back into text here and I actually am going to make this that same text we use for the font here so where did she go right here click here change it to that I'm gonna make it white and I'm actually going to go let's just zoom in here I'm gonna say let's just say there's a tennis court back there <laughs> And in this case, I actually am going to capitalize this. I'm going to hit that uppercase and I'm going to go into here with the spacing and I'm just going to reduce the spacing of the words like that. And I, you, you can see here, it is still really hard to read. So what we're going to do now is go into effects, get effects, then go into, I like outline in this case, I'm going to make the outline black. Click on that. We just click on here and then just drag this here. And then I turn the thickness all the way up. So it looks like that. So if we were to zoom out, then you can see, maybe it needs a little bit more spacing like that. Then you can see that text relatively well, even if we were to zoom out like that. So that's something to just, you know, peak interest. Like there's a tennis court back there. Hmm, we gotta click this video to see if there really is. I mean, don't be clickbaity, but I mean, you do wanna have something of interest on there. So you're gonna have just, like I said, just the price, or you can add something like this, or have your face and your brand in there. Or we can also do something like this where you just duplicate this page instead of having this. We can have text just across the bottom like this. And we can just make sure it's right in the middle. And let's say this is a remodeled kitchen. Something just to pique interest, right? And we'll make this a little bit bigger that make sure you did i spell remodel right we're just gonna leave it like that <laughs> do that like this and so now you have the price here and then you have just some information about the home just to make it a little bit interesting again within what maybe 10 minutes we've made six variations of the thumbnail but again in that first one that i showed you here it literally takes like two minutes so there you go my friends that is how you use canva to make a gorgeous amazing thumbnails for your property tours and of course if you made it to the end of the video then you know what it is you know what to do comment down below hashtag and crew so i know that you everyone and of course because you made it to the end don't forget this video a thumbs up and share it with your real estate friends and if you're interested in learning how i plan my youtube videos with notion then be sure to check out this video right over here and if you're ready get ready to click in three two one